With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the students, in this question, we have given that Mr. De Bittu, okay, Bittu, deposit a certain amount of money, okay, each month in a RD account, okay, and rate of interest is given to us as 8% per annum, 8% per annum, okay, and it is said that Mr. Bittu gets 8,088 rupees from the bank after 3 years, okay, we have also given this time period, okay. I'm going to find his monthly installment. Okay, we have to find this monthly installment. Okay, so let's first write the data given to us in the question. Okay, we have given first the maturity value. Okay, maturity value is given to us. Let's denote this as MB. Okay, this is given to us as rupees eight thousand and eighty-eight rupees. Okay, second thing is given to us this time period. Okay. We have given the time period, okay. We have we denote this as N, okay. It is given as three years, okay, which we can write in month as three into twelve. This will be equal to thirty-six months, okay. And one more with thing we have given is interest, okay. Rate of interest, okay. We have we have given our rate of interest, okay. We represent it by small r. This is given as eight percent. Okay. Anything more we have given? Not. Okay. So see, first we can calculate. Uh, we have to calculate his monthly installment. Okay. So let his monthly installment. Monthly installment. To be what? To be P. Okay, friend. So see, what will be his total deposit? What will be his total deposit? Okay. So this will be equal to his monthly installment into the time period. Okay. Which will be equal to his time period is thirty six months. So this will be. Thirty-six p. Okay, this will be his total deposit. Okay, and what is the interest he received in these three years? Okay, so his SI will be equal to what? See his maturity value minus his total deposit. That will be his interest received. Okay, so this monthly. It, this maturity value is given as eight thousand and eighty-eight. Okay, and this total deposit we have calculated as thirty-six p. Okay. Also, the formula for this simple interest is p into n into n plus one divided by two into twelve into r by hundred. Okay. So by this formula, I can write this to be P P is monthly installment. Okay, and n is time period, and it is thirty six months. Okay, so n plus one will be thirty seven. This will be two into twelve. Okay, R is given as eight percent. Okay, sir, and this SI we have calculated here as eight zero eight eight minus what thirty six P. Okay, friend. Now see, this will be equal to this twelve cancel out this thirty six so by three. Okay, this two I can cancel out here so four. Okay, so okay, so this will be equal to what? This will be equal to three into four twelve. Okay, twelve into Thirty-seven. Okay. Divided by this hundred p. Okay, then. Now see. To calculate this p, I can write eight zero eight eight. Okay. So adding thirty-six p on both sides. So this will give me thirty-six p plus. This will give me four point four four 
t okay the value of this is 4.44 t okay so this will be equal to what 40.44 t where t is my monthly installment okay so see so by this i can write my p to be what 8088 divided by this 40.44 okay friend so we can write as 8088 divided by 40.44 into 100 okay i just remove this decimal sign okay so see this will be equal to this is 1 2 two times of this okay so this will be equal to 200 okay so his monthly installment will be equal to rupees 200 okay so this will be my answer hope you understand the solution Thank you. for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today